Good evening again, Springfield. Krusty the Clown, the beloved idol of countless tots. Now, nothing more than a common alleged criminal. His trial, which begins tomorrow, has taken center ring in a national media circus as children of all ages, from 8 to 80, hang on each new development like so many Romanian trapeze artists. From his humble beginnings as a street mime in Tupelo, Mississippi, Krusty clowned his way to the top of a personal mini-empire with dozens of endorsements, including his own line of pork products. This may have led to one of television's best-loved bloopers, Krusty's near-fatal on-the-air heart attack in 1986. Wasn't that a great itchy and scratchy cartoon, kids? Well, we've got another one coming right up. But first, I got a hankering for some pork products. Mmm, look. Plump, succulent sausage, honey-smoked bacon, and glistening, sizzling... But a quick triple bypass and a pacemaker later, Krusty bounced back. However, he was a changed clown. Where his show had been condemned by parents and educators alike as simple-minded TV mayhem, this new Krusty devoted a small portion of every show to stamping out illiteracy in today's Anything for a Thrill youth. Give a hoot, read a book. Krusty's arrest has sent shockwaves through Springfield, packing its churches, synagogues, and mosques with disillusioned citizenry from all walks of life. I urge every halfway decent member of our community to gather up all merchandise that bears the likeness of Krusty, that clown prince of corruption, and join me in a public burning! So, is Krusty the Clown about to trade in his baggy pants for the relatively snug uniform of Springfield Penitentiary? We'll find out tomorrow when his trial begins.